<laughs> oh man, gosh. Hello everyone. Nah, I can't do that, you know. Hello everyone. <laughs> How y'all doing out there? I hope y'all doing good. You know, just staying see. Staying alive. So just a little progress report, man. So we November, okay? That, that milestone I wanted to hit by the end of the year is a little iffy. But I, I feel like I can still do it though. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And like I said, giveaway when I hit that milestone. And another bigger giveaway when I hit the next milestone after that, man. Uh, okay. That's about as happy <laughs> as this video is gonna be because this topic is serious. You know, debt, debts w were involved, um, serious consequences was involved, and just some crazy shit just happened, man. And I, I, I had to talk about it. I was not letting this opportunity pass me by. So, first thing I'm, I wanna say, right, is as of now, as of recording this video, um, there was a article that came out that said Travis Scott is gonna pay I mean um, issue refunds to everyone that attended the festival the Astro world shit and he's gonna I guess cancel his next thing it's called day in, day and Vegas headline or whatever whatever the hell that is yeah <laughs> so I don't even know where to start necessarily, but <sighs> okay, I know where to start. Yo, I'm like, okay. Why is something like this happening at a time like right now? Now, if this happened down in Texas, you already know them, them conservative states never, I feel like I could be wrong. Okay, but I feel like they never had any type of mandate at all <laughs> any type of, or when they did, you know, the people that live there, the residents of that city of, I mean, of, of the state and whatever, always was pretty much just going against it to where that, that if they did have any type of social distancing man, mandate, it was never pro, pro, properly followed. Oh my God. But yeah, that's why I'm gonna start. First things first. Why is a festival like this happening to begin with? And I'm not gonna. I don't. I don't want to be hypocritical because I was just at a J Cole concert. You know, link in the description for that vlog. But I saw a picture of, and I hope I could. I hope I could find a picture to insert it for y'all to see. It was like it's probably a drone picture. You know, up up above, showing the. It's like, I don't know how to, I don't know how to put it, but it's like, yeah, mosh pit, all of that shit. It's like a big ass thing to the point where it's like, you would, you would think this was pre COVID. Yeah. Like I was saying, <laughs> this con this fest festival honestly looked like pre COVID the amount of people that was there. And like I said, I, do not want to be hypocritical because I was at a J. Cole concert recently. But it it was nothing near that. And it was inside, you know, it's in I mean, I don't ah, I don't know if that's any better, but just the way that that thing looked, that festival looked, that Astroworld shit looked, there was no guidelines, there was no nothing. And that's another thing. That's a big difference though. J uh, performing in stadiums and shit the guidelines have to be followed, you know? And that's a big difference. Cause you look in, cause you see the Astral World Fest and you see the, the videos that were circulating and the pictures and shit like that. Nobody wearing masks, no, there was, there's no way to social distance at a concert anyway, unless it's the badass concert. <laughs> and, and there's like 10 people there or some shit like that. But you know, for something like this, he, he's such a big name. There's no way there's going to be any type of 
social distancing guidelines. There's no way that could happen. Like I said, the only way social distancing could happen at a concert is if there's not a lot of people there. And like I said, if you saw the videos and you saw the pictures of the amount of people that was there, it, it, it's a no brainer. There's no way in hell people is gonna be standing six feet apart or whatever the hell that shit was. Besides that though, next thing I wanted to bring up, right? A lot of people was trying to say it was like a ritual, it was like a, um, sacrificing. <sighs> um, I'm 50-50 on it, okay? On the one hand, I could fully, full well believe that shit. Because his music, <laughs> he's he has that outlawish type of music, that rebel type of music, that... I don't know how to describe. I'm, I'm, I'm really at a loss for words on this topic because I, I didn't really necessarily want to talk about it because it's so negative and the shit. Like, there's no real positive to bring out of this, other than the fact that he's gonna issue refunds and I, I guess um, it was somebody. Oh, Roddy Rich said he's gonna pay for the funerals for the people that passed away. That's like the only real positive about this. But besides that, okay, let me get back to it. Yeah, so some people were saying it was like a ritual sacrifice and all that shit. And I'm like, some of the pictures really kind of give off that vibe too. Because it's like, there's walking into this big open mouth or some shit like that. There was symbol, there was these words, these phrases and symbolism and all this fire and shit like that. I'm like, but then again, that's his fandom. His core fans would embrace that type of shit that's his music that's his sound you know what i'm saying that's his his aura that's his person that's his persona you know what i'm saying to the point where if it wasn't like that his core fans wouldn't have liked that concert or, or probably wouldn't have enjoyed that concert as much but at the same time it's like yo how could you see some type of shit like that and be comfortable to be there <laughs> how could you be that comfortable to be there like it was already a lot of people and they said more people were storming in and breaking down whatever barriers they had and what, whatever the hell the case is so you're telling me that shit was already packed to the point where it was probably max capacity or however they decided to do that and there was more people breaking and trying to get in you put two and two together there's no way people wasn't gonna get stuck stomped and trampled on you know what i'm saying and the other side to that ritual sacrifice shit as to why i don't maybe not necessarily believe it is because if you just look at it on, on the surface plain surface no diving deeper into anything it's a big ass concert big ass festival whatever the hell the case is nobody's social distancing nobody's wearing masks nobody's nothing like that and more people is trying to get in to already a packed clustered ass thing is in it's inevitable that something like this is gonna happen you know what i'm saying and to the the other little sidebar that people was bringing up um they were saying people somebody was injecting the crowd with drugs that could play another you know defense to the it was a ritual sacrifice or some shit like that it could it could you know that's if you believe in that type of stuff i like i said i'm 50 50 on i wasn't there but at the same time the symbolism and all the, the images and shit like that and there's this one video of a guy who actually said it felt like there was in hell or something like that i, I, I want to insert the video but I don't know if YouTube is going to copyright that shit or flag my video for, for that. So I'm going to be smart and not insert it. But I have the link saved. I'm definitely going to link it in the description for y'all to see. Okay? So yeah. <laughs> so he said it felt like there was in hell. It was a, a, he said a few other things. I'm like, yo. That means something, man. It could be a lot deeper than just a regular concert. It, it could be. Okay, that's if you want to dive into that hole, man. If you, cause like, cause once you dive into that hole, there's no, or it's very difficult to 
back back you know and then once you diamond in that hole there's many layers and layers and layers <laughs> you see what i'm saying and then people are suing uh travis scott they sh they suing drake too in my head i'm like well, what the hell drake got to do with this but then again they were saying how when even when drake was was performing some of the people was already passing out and fainting and shit like that and they saw it and didn't do anything about it and then travis scott you there's a video of it you could literally see he's performing he's looking into the damn crowd and he could see people being carried away hauled <laughs> hauled away like get away <laughs> Ugh, i didn't mean to laugh but i'm just saying so he's performing right and he could see people in the crowd like um passing out and shit like that and he just kept going he just kept rapping and that plays a part into his core core audience they probably didn't want him to stop this the way i was thinking about it is like the rational you know good-minded human beings wanted him to stop his core fans who probably been waiting however long to see that damn concert probably didn't want him to stop i looked at it another way i looked at it like some people would have been very happy and very grateful he stopped the concert other people wouldn't i he should have stopped the damn concert <laughs> that, that's my take on it he should have stopped that damn concert honestly speaking i don't think the onus or the the responsibility should have been on drake to stop the concert but travis scott as a rational minded good-hearted human being you should have stopped that damn concert and it's it's a no-brainer it, it, how could you think otherwise how could you think him continuing to perform as he's seeing a damn 10 year old get carried away and whatever the hell the case is his body get carried away and continue rapping like make it make sense now and then the main phrase of you know the sacrificial ritual type shit was um see you on the other side what, what the hell you mean by that you see, like I say, once you dive into that damn hole, bro, there's <laughs> so much layers to this shit. What the hell you mean, see you on the other side? Well, what does that mean? Well, what do you mean by that? You know what I'm saying? See you on the other side. What the fuck? Like, what? <laughs> and it, so from the pictures I saw, that's the wording you see as you're heading into this shit. If, cause I'm not a Travis Scott fan at all. I don't, I like the Travis Scott uh, meal from McDonald's though. That shit was valid. <laughs> Music wise, uh-uh. If my friend invited me to a Travis Scott concert and I see that, I'm like, oh hell no. <laughs> oh hell no. I'm sorry, man. I, I appreciate the offer, but I'm gonna head home, man. This, uh, you see that? See you on the other side? No, <laughs> no. Because the fact that someone like Travis Scott already have these conspiracies against him for being, you know, into that ritual type of shit. And then I see that. I'm going home. <laughs> I'm going home. I'm going home. Like, this is unacceptable. But, like I said, that's his core audience, man. That's the people who like that type of shit. And who's that big of a fan of him or stan of him. To where they would see that type of shit and be like, oh yeah, you know what I'm saying? But it couldn't be me, man. It's to the point where even if I saw that shit with a J. Cole concert, I would be very uneasy. And any any sign of some weird shit, I'm out. <laughs> I am out of there. Cause for the for the people that's saying they was probably injecting people with drugs. I'm 50-50 on that too, because I kind of believe it though. Because it's like a big ass thing like that, it would be easy for them to do that shit and get away with it. Because for the for the, for the the case that that could be true, they're never going to catch that person who did that. And that plays again onto the sacrifice, sacrificial type of shit. You know what I'm saying? But my whole thing is this, right? Oh, I have, oh my God. I have to bring this up too, man. His apology and Kylie Jenner apology too. I might, 
I couldn't find her apology as I should have saved that shit, but I didn't think it was gonna be relevant. So I'm gonna I'm gonna read his first one, and then I'm gonna insert his second one. It's, it's his video version of an apology. It's mad short and very funny at the same time. So <laughs> I don't mean to laugh, but this is his initial apology, right? I'm absolutely devastated by what took place last night. So this happened, he made this apology right after, like the next day that shit happened. So my prayers go out to the families and all those impacted by what happened at Astroworld Festival. Houston PD has my total support as they continue to look into the tragic loss of life. Okay, I'm not laughing at what happened, I'm laughing at this apology, okay? I am committed to working together with the Houston community to heal and support the families in need. Thank you, thank you to Houston PD, Fire Department, and NRG Park for the immediate response and support. Now, I'm never, like I said, I'm not a fan of his, but that's, 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 that seems very politically correct, um, pre-rehearsed, or whatever the case is, or in essence, in summary, that seemed like he didn't write that shit, you know? That seemed like that educated ass friend that you have <laughs> that writes apologies for you and shit like that. Or PR. That's what people were saying. That PR. Or whoever's in charge of that type of shit. Now, there's a video, okay? I'm watching it now. I'm going to insert it on your screen for you. I just want to send out prayers to the, to the ones that was lost last night. We're actually working right now to identify the families so we can help assist them through this tough time. <laughs> I'm so, okay. I don't mean to laugh, but it's just how ironically fake that shit is and forced. Like I said, he's probably, I'm not gonna accuse him of nothing, okay? But he's probably happy Okay, I'm not even going to go into that. But his apology seems so damn fake. It seems so forced. It seems so... I'm going to turn off this camera and just start laughing at this fake-ass apology. That's, that's what I'm getting from that apology video, okay? I don't even know. Like, I don't even know what to say. And then another question I had before I started recording is like... Is he gonna have this festival again? I feel like he would have this type of festival again. Now, if it was to happen, you already know Houston, they're gonna have to make sure it's very different, very much more safe and shit like that. But the fact that I feel like he would have this type of concert again. <sighs> Another thing that came out after this whole thing happened is like there's videos of other musicians and performers and shit stopping their concert and you know doing the right thing as a human being would do if they saw people in their their crowd fainting or passing out whatever and i'm like yo like bro was it that hard to stop the concert you know or give a few minutes for the ambulance to do what they gotta do and then instead of point where I mean it's to the fact that it was so much damn people there of course people was gonna get trampled it's I feel like it should have been more regulations in terms of how much people was allowed to be there cuz I don't know it was just too much damn people there this type of thing is gonna happen no one wear masks it's like I, I want to know the COVID numbers after that shit <laughs> But like I said, it's Texas, so you know, ain't no damn regulation going on with that shit. You know what I'm saying? But let me know what y'all think, man. I, I what what positive could you take out of this situation? Seriously. Now, I feel bad. Yes, I definitely feel bad for everyone involved. Everyone involved, because I'm getting goosebumps now. What the hell? But Travis, my my question to Travis Scott would just be like, bro, why why you didn't stop the concert? I know people are suing Drake or whatever, but I honestly feel like that he had no real responsibility to stop the concert. 
because it's not Astro World featuring Drake. Drake was just a special guest or whatever the case is. You know, there's no, I don't know. I don't, I put no responsibility on Drake for stopping that concert. Uh, it's just, that, that's just me. I really don't. Hundred percent responsibility on Travis Scott. He should be paying the funeral um, stuff for those people to. Roddy Rich shouldn't even be doing that. It should be him. The refund for the tickets, like however much the, <laughs> the price is for those damn tickets, he should be paying for the funeral for those people. Because if he was more responsible and stopped the damn concert, it wouldn't have happened. And then you saw them passing out while you're performing and you kept going? Like, huh? <laughs> huh? Let me know what y'all think, man. Comment down below. What do y'all think about this shit, bro? Seriously. Seriously. Let me know what y'all think, man. <sighs> Milestone? I, it could still happen, man. It's a very... It, it, it could be a toss up. I mean, honestly, it could happen by the end of the year. I'm not going to be mad if it don't. Don't get me wrong. I'm not. Because it's going to happen eventually, you know. God's willing. It's going to happen eventually. Give away when that milestone happens. So thank you. And more videos coming soon. Ah.